Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Tati. Thank you, Nikki, Drew, Tario. How about giving up on these eyeshadow palettes? Okay. Ain't gonna happen everyone. Hi, this is your Aussie mum, Anna, and today I'm doing a bit of a weird video. Well, it's not a bit of a weird video. It's my makeup collection, but the weird thing behind it is about 380 days ago, <laughs> this was my entire makeup collection. It consists of a Dollar Tree Face of Australia BB Cream, a Dollar Tree, don't even know the brand, mascara, a eyeshadow quad by Designer Brands, which just by happenstance turned out to be quite good, a BOE, which is a dollar, a $2 brand done by a Big W lipstick in birthday suit, a brownie nude, and one in adorable, a pinky nude, they're actually really quite nice colours. And um, I had a, a Metallics quad from a different brand, I don't know why, and a L'Oreal Autumn one, and my daughter gouged them all out except for that one. But that was the whole lot. And then um, we got internet because our middle son reached, like, high school, and, well, I should say we got unlimited internet, and we all got smart devices that were able to access it and I got into it through ASMR videos um, which I do for relaxation to sleep and some of them would do makeup routines and then I heard Tati's voice and that I found really soothing so I started to watch all her reviews and then discovered the whole world of beauty gurus and YouTubers and everything and slowly but surely the um transformation began and so I thought I'd show you what has been upgraded <laughs> to in and I realized that compared to most collection videos this is tiny but yet yeah, this is 380 days worth of makeup and bear in mind like I'm an old woman and I don't have a you know a large disposable income or anything so even, yeah, this, I just, it just surprised me a lot. Now, the first palette I ever got was, and this looks very different than the ones I've seen in American reviews or in Tati's um, review, like yours is bigger and a lot cheaper, but this is the L'Oreal Le, Le Palette Le Rose. So it's like the number two of their nude palettes. You can see how much I've used it. I love it. I still do. Then... <laughs> The next eyeshadow, ooh, sorry, the next eyeshadow palette I got, this one was um, $3, and I got this actually, you use it with a wet brush, or make the shadows wet, and you use it like face paint for kids, and it works really well, but I will also say that, like, those shimmery shades, they're the girl, they actually swatch out really nicely, but anyway... I'm not too sure why that one's... Oh, I think I took it off my daughter because she was trying to do makeup looks with it. But then I got this one, which was $4, and I really like this. This just has a lot of cool tone nudes, a white highlighter, some peaches, really nice ready colour, a black, so I love that one. Then I think this was my next purchase. This was a $4.99 palette. It's always $4.99. It's by W7. It's the London Eyes palette. It has some matte, some shimmer, and look at that pigmentation. So I love that palette. It was a great one to have a, ooh, as a, um, like a beginning one. There's just where I swatch those colors out. So yeah, that works pretty well. Um, which got me on the W7 bandwagon. So I then got because I'd been lusting after the other ones I love the fact that these were in tin this is the in the night palette and this is all very dramatic shimmers and darks and smoky palette and that sort of thing 
from there we got Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which everyone knows smells delicious. I broke that, use that all the time. And then we've got the original Naked palette, all the brushes are gone. So, been enjoying that, loving that. Then these are the newest addition to the eyeshadow palettes, and I absolutely adore these. These are by Profusion. They were $3.20, and the eyeshadows individually do not have a name, but this palette is Drama, and it is sort of shimmer shade, six of them, and this palette here is by the same brand, and yeah, it was 20% off this $3.99. This one is called Shimmer. And this has these colours, which are really buttery and smooth, and I love them. Moving on to different sorts of palettes from that same brand, the Pro Fusion brand. Today I got this blush palette, which is just a six colour, it's really quite big um, blush palette. I was interested in the bottom row, which are called Pop Pink, Blushing Pink and Wine, and perhaps the middle shade at the top, Melon for a bronzer um they're beautifully creamy and highlighted and when i think about it blushing peach and peach pink might make nice eyeshadow shades because they're all nice and creamy and buttery and that was three dollars fifty as well then the next sort of face palette i have would be this kate moss rimmel palette which is a blusher a contour and a highlight the contour isn't matte, so and the blusher isn't pigmented, so don't use it much. And I don't like the highlight. I'll show you a funny highlight dupe in a sec. I got that for my sister's wedding. The last sort of palette type thing I think I have for your face is this W7 Blush With Me Highlight Cubes. It comes with that Nastar brush. And this is Getting Hitched, I think, which is the lightest one. There's three other ones, but the tin is exactly the same. The colour and everything, I thought I was getting a dark one, but I use this as a highlighter and I quite enjoy it. But I will say, my favourite highlighter is actually from the Dollar Tree, and it is Lip Smackers. You know, yeah, those fruity lip gloss thing, and it is... It's called Sparkle Dust, and, like, you meant to get it for a six-year-old in a gift pack. But yeah, it's called Moon Dust and like Hello Anastasia Dupe. That is so cool. And yeah, it's a dollar. But anyway, okay. After that, I guess we would move into this storagey thing here. Okay, so you start how you do on your face. So primers. There is Color Theory, which is like a silicon based primer. Rimmel Fix and Protect, which is probably my favourite makeup primer. Ah, this is actually my favourite. This is Babe Skin. It looks like Baby Skin by Maybelline, which I do have, but did have, but got rid of. It was disgusting. This is like a neutral colour um, pore eraser that smells like cherries, and I love this foundation. Sometimes I use this Garnier BB Cream as a foundation or a primer. Um... I got this the other day for a dollar. It's meant to be a glowing, like, tinted moisturizer and, in fact, looks like an entire body fake tan. Check out my last video if you want to see the hilarity of that. But it was in the dollar bin, so that is my only W7 fail, I will say. And this is what got me into primers. It was a little tester of the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. That's where I realized that foundation does work a little better if you use one. Speaking of foundation, um, I use this most of the time. Maybe they fit me. Sometimes I use In 120 Classic Ivory. Sometimes I use CoverGirl True Blend. I love this W7 Sing in the Rain. I mixed that with the Maybelline one and I got a backup of the Maybelline one because it was half price. I also use the Rimmel Stay Matte 25 Hour Foundation and I don't know where it is. Um, probably because I use it. I must have used it today. Then there's the NYX Wonder Stick which is like the contour on one side, highlight on the other. I really like this. Apparently everyone else in the world hated it but I really like it. I got it in light. Um, okay. Then the last of this one is... 
mascaras. So I have a CoverGirl brown mascara, which I use during the day. Then I have some W7 ones, which are obvious from the packaging, whom they are trying to dupe. And that is W7 Big Lashes and W7 Flirty Eyes. This is one of the best makeups in the world. Then um, I have a Maybelline Colossal Volume 1. And then also a Maybelline Colossal Volume. And I don't get why they look like that. Like they're both meant to be black Maybelline. What's the go? Please explain in the comments. Then I have this colour therapy, like holographic lip gloss. This great little product here, Designer Brands Illuminator, which you can either mix in your foundation or just like dot on it, like a liquid highlight for very pale people. It's beautiful. Some Face of Australia concealer and some eyeliners so we have kai liner in bronze we have a green rimmel one we have a lol which is a dollar kmart brand one in brown we have a natio black lip pencil and we have a bys which is like a two dollar uh, black eyeliner so yeah big into my eyeliners and that's that whole thing empty then in here we have okay like some setting powders and stuff so we have a bys say matte contour powder we have bow blush powder we have maybelline fit me powder we have been nice powder not that i bake i'm too old for it but um yeah i do like swish them over my face we have some liquid concealer we have so that's a new like I got it for a dollar to a dollar fifty or something I think just like literally today bargain lip gloss this is a, a Marty lingerie lip gloss it's a matte lip cream love that one this was a Revlon high definition one in smoky quartz this is a NYX liquid suede in uh, LSCL I'm not sure. Oh, soft spoken, sorry, but I love that one. This is a Rimmel Long Lasting Color Rush, and it I like the um, texture and everything, but the color is just too bright, like raspberryish for me. But um, a Maybelline Color Drama, like lip crown thing, I love that. I wear that at night if I'm going to be dramatic. A bow which is a big W brand again, lipstick that was like a dollar, and I don't know where the cap is gone, but it's actually really cute, it's this sort of bronzy shimmery shade, a Kiss liquid lipstick sample, which is fantastic, longest, longest wearing lip gloss in the world, a Natio lip gloss, a Revlon ultra high definition lipstick in 850 Iris, which is really nice, some lip liners like an ultra three two designer brands a rimmel bronze eyeliner which i use as a lip liner for uh, nudes and a pink models prefer one and then a bronze kai liner in gel and a copper kai lighter no that's a copper kai shadow or something and then we have um like the coco k collection so all of those and poppin and lord in metal mats in that tin and in there we have all the brushes and in there we just have creams and stuff so that is ridiculously unfortunately what i have accumulated in slightly over a year please comment like and subscribe tell me what you think about it and uh, see you next video guys bye